We'll move on to uh, some player movement. We talked about this on Monday with Brody Grundy. Is he going to be at the Pies? I know he's a close friend of yours, Eddie. We'll get to that in a second. But Brody Grundy was uh, stopped, or at least they tried to stop him on the way to training yesterday. Do you expect to be here next year? Prepared for the club to come forward with any question? I'm, of not, you? I'm not going to be dragged into that. Obviously, I signed a long-term deal, and looking forward to getting back into the team. Well, thanks, mate. Cheers. Yeah, so that's what Brody Grundy had to say after our report on Monday night. And then today, vision from seven, I think uh, Mitch Cleary broke this. Jason McCartney, who's the head of football, also the list manager of GWS. And that man is Robbie Durazio, who is the manager of Brody Grundy that helped get him that seven-year, $7 million deal. So it's all starting... I saw you with Robbie Durazio to... yesterday in a cafe. Oh, it's funny. I actually saw you with Robbie Durazio. <laughs> anyway, we all seem to be in the same cafe at once. <laughs> Eddie... The Brody Grundy situation, we know how good a player he is. This is really, you know, calling a spade a spade here. It's about the money. It's about the deal. How would you be handling this if you were still at the club? Have you spoken uh, no, to no, Brody? No, I won't go into hypotheticals on this, but let me just say this. Brody Grundy is a superstar footballer, and you don't get too many of them, and you don't shove them out the door without a really good thing. Now, if there was something there to uh, fill the needs, then sure, that's, you know, I, I've got full confidence in the list management people down at Collingwood, but you'd want to be thinking very deeply about him and Dugowie going out the door, because I looked at uh, the sides on the weekend. The last two weeks, the Pies have got over the second last team, or third last team and the bottom team just, and I'm sitting there going, geez, I'd like to see Adams back in there, I'd like to see Quayne all back in there, and I'd really love to see Dugowie, and I'd love to see well, Brody Grundy. Well, let me there. pose this question. If they had a loss the seven close games, would we be having this discussion about mm. Grundy leaving? Uh, because it's a very yeah. fine line what's happened can play. And Sam, you're saying it's about the money. Uh, they obviously don't think he can be the player that he, that he was when he signed the deal because well, uh, I, I, I'm already listing some teams getting excited for them for this opportunity. Who would, who would, who would uh, want well, Brody to Grundy me, to play like, from everyone? Yeah, well, say, for example, <laughs> Luke Jackson, everyone thinks he's going to go to Fremantle. So suddenly you're going, OK, Gorn and Grundy, could you have the best one too? The Western Bulldogs. Grundy gets Brownlow votes every time he plays the Western Kills Bulldogs. Him. Imagine Bont and Pally and those guys going and you go, Tim English, you can help Norton forward. Brody, join Bont and Pally and those guys in the midfield. Well, It'd be well, unbelievable. Well, well, it's a bit like when Ottens was at Richmond. Yeah. Everyone underrated him. He hmm. was the missing piece in a dynasty. He went to Geelong and just... Yeah. Imagine Grundy gets to Geelong. All, all I would say on this one right now is that if you spoke to people at Collingwood, Eddie, hmm. they would say that we're desperate for another inside midfielder to add midfield depth. We didn't know Darcy Cameron was going to come on in the way that he has. Now, the Pies are looking closely at Tim Taranto. They want another midfielder. Giants need a Ruckman. I mean, it's just... it's It makes sense that if Grundy was to go one way, well, they could get one of these midfielders, whether it's a Taranto or whether the Giants want to off offload some salary cap space themselves with yeah. a Whitfield and that, or a the, Kelly. And to your point, they said, that's why good list managers have those stockpile meetings. some blokes, yep. OK? And you might have one who... You, for, from a Collingwood point of view, yeah, Brody's on a long-term contract, but you knew that at some stage there was a negotiation that could come your way, but you can't do it if he's a free agent. Yeah, but, yeah. And as you're saying, now suddenly yeah. half the AFL would love yeah. to have Brody Grundy and Collingwood can negotiate. Yeah, if, I'm, if I'm Brody Grundy, I'm saying find me a third club because Tim Tim's coming into a potential premiership side. I'm going to a bottom four side. I've, I've built a house in Melbourne. Mm. You're not sending me there. Right, he's a, he's also at the Melbourne University yeah, yeah. School of Business. He's mm. doing great things. He loves it here. Uh, it'd be a big he, call to get rid of Brody Grundy. Should he really be doorstop walking into his training, his <laughs> workplace at round 18, based yeah. on pure speculation? Absolutely. You, you don't think that's over the top? No. Ah, what's, you know what? I'll tell you the other thing. I, I have spoken with Brody. You uh, like the media? Not about this. I love the media. But, mate, you know the thing is, <laughs> when your name goes over the marquee, as they say yeah. in show business, when you're the main act and you're getting paid the big money, other things come Is there it. a possibility he could recalibrate? Look, why don't we just extend me out, average it out, take the pressure off salary cap, and they keep a great player at the now club? Now you're talking. That would be the conversation Eddie, you and I would That's like what to smart here. people do. Yeah. Ed, Eddie, just on the other play to that, Jordan Ngoi. Yeah, what's going on? Now, I put it to St Kilda today if they had met with him. They're adamant that they have not, nor have they met with his management. In fact, they still need to go to the board and decide whether they are going to... Did their nose grow when they were saying that? Or? Uh, I, I, I believe them. I then uh, went to Geelong and asked... You're suggesting, Ed, that they haven't oh, met Well, with I'm just asking. I just... I went to Geelong and asked the same hearing. thing, and yeah. they politely declined to comment. You, you know what fascinates me I would have Geelong about... in front of uh, the race for the You know what fascinates me about the Jordan Ngoi discussion? Hmm. The implication and what's implied that he shouldn't be playing football at Collingwood because of X incidents. But you can go and play at St Kilda and Geelong. 
Mm. No, no, but, but, but it doesn't make sense. It's not logical. No, but so, well, there's been plenty of, of examples in the past, Ross, where a player that has had a history of off-field incidents has a, a, a change of venue. Yeah, I know a change, of, a change of venue, but it's almost we're making a judgment. Change of He's environment. He's not befitting in Collingwood. He mm. doesn't fit our values. But that's Collingwood's decision, Ross. So, so we move him. But can that's I, Collingwood's can... decision. Can but I just there's throw... a pile on with it to move him. Yeah. Can I just throw one question? A pile on from who? There's been fan well, the media. There's, there's a split public view. Oh, you could line up the Collingwood members and say, we don't want to lose him. And he might say, I don't want to go anywhere. Sam, what's Jordy been found guilty of? I'm not going to go into his level of... No, no I'm just saying that. But I mean, the, the, the fact, stupidity along the, the facts way. are, Eddie, is that Jordan has a long list of indiscretions, many of which I, for which he has apologised for. I just wonder I don't whether, think it's unreasonable that Collingwood is sitting there going, when is this guy... I don't think it's person? unreasonable either, because I've sat in those meetings. Yeah. In fact, his contract says if you do something wrong, out you go. So that's already in past contracts. So that's, that's nothing new. Yep. Um, I, I, I tend to sort of defer to my great uh, neighbour here, Ross, in saying what changing jumpers suddenly expunges all these problems. Eddie, he's, no, out of, he's out of contract, isn't mm. he? And Collingwood have decided maybe we could spend our money more wisely. That's it. And, and that's not what the coach is saying. The coach says, I love Geordie, I want to wrap my arms around he's him, saying, and I want him here. Yeah. And he's saying it publicly about Grundy. His head, I, his head of football then took an offer off the table that was there after the latest industry. Having well, said that... Well, it doesn't make sense to me. The coach is saying one thing, and the head of footy is doing another thing. But having said that, there's very two, two very big pieces that Collingwood can play with a big salary cap that they can go and get free agencies and thicken up the soup for a real go. Absolutely. So, so if, you, if you're Grundy or Dugowie, my coach is saying, we want you here, but then all the rumour and innuendo is they're shopping me around. H how are they feeling now? If, oh. if it... Well, I don't, think, I don't think Jordan Dugowie's happy at all with the situation. Well, I don't think Jordy really, you know... To be perfectly honest, he's put himself in those positions. Well, no, he, and and he having has. said that as well, I think we've got to start becoming big, big but guys sure. in this caper. In America, they tell you, pack your bag and go. Um, if you're going to get paid the dough these days, I don't think we're going to get paid. It's a very different we're sort of money, though, in the, in the States, Eddie, that yeah. they can relocate at the drop of a hat, whereas guys here that are on yeah. $100,000 a year. I, I, I do quite. sort of blame you. rugby bit. league where they say, yeah, I'm finishing and I'll be there next year. No, we don't, I, 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 I hate that, I must admit. But at the same time. Not far off it. Not far off it. And at the same time, everybody wants to be like the USA and all the rest of it until it goes the well, other way. With some things, Ed. Some th well, <laughs> with, I, with some things. I wouldn't be going anywhere near what the USA do, to be perfectly honest. But anyway...